Hello everybody, how you doing? My name is Curly Bardock and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about Marvel's Phase 4 and how a lot of the projects are not really meeting to fans' expectations and leading to a lot of people really feeling like they're hating the way the MCU is right now. So why they might be feeling this way, there's like for me two main reasons as to why and what Marvel could do to really solve these issues. So yeah, let's get started with probably the first thing, and that's CGI slash VFX quality. I feel like the biggest issue with Phase 4 as a whole is inconsistent quality. Um, you'll have a show like Loki, which does stunning and beautiful visuals and landscapes, that Eternals, where things are just beautiful. There is never not a great thing in Eternals that just doesn't look amazing. But that, in this phase specifically, is very far and few between. You then, on the other spectrum, you have things like the Moon Knight uh, suit-up scene at the very tail end of the series, and it looks like doo-doo butter. Or you have things like She-Hulk walking into her office. It literally looks like she is from a PS4 game, which don't think that's a good sign and it's not like Marvel can't not fix these issues it's more like from the way they set up this this franchise they can't focus on always quality checking their their projects which which sounds stupid right they are a multi-billion dollar making machine like phase three alone made I believe it was 13 million dollars 13 billion dollars if I'm not mistaken 13.5 billion dollars so obviously they have the money they have the resources and they have you know these stories to make things look good and this is where we come in to talk about how Marvel treats their VFX peeps and how they treat VFX workers as a whole um, spoiler alert, they do not treat them well. Um, there has been tons and tons of anonymous VFX workers coming out on Reddit and other news outlets basically describing how they fail towards Marvel and how a lot of the work environment just isn't safe or doesn't feel safe. Uh, like, you have this one. Oh, I'm dropping the pen. You have this one from an anonymous VFX artist that posted on r slash VFX that said, Marvel has seen grown men punch walls and throw monitors from stress. I broke down a couple times and have seen the stain, the strain that it can put on marriages. But hey, the money's fantastic, right? Fuck Marvel as a client. The credit name is not fucking worth it. Another one also stated, I'm quite frankly sick and tired of working on Marvel shows. Marvel has probably one of the worst methodologies of production in VFX manages management out there. They can never fix the look for the show before more than half the allotted time for the show is over. The artists working on Marvel shows are definitely not paid equivalent to the amount of work that they put in. And from just those two statements alone, I can build a pretty good image about how toxic and how shitty you must feel working in an environment in an environment where you are asked so much of you as a person that you are literally having to strain your marriage break down throw things punch walls and that just that just that must just feel fucking awful like i can't say that i know how they feel like i've worked in customer service and i've worked in you know, people to people relations, but I've never, never, never had an experience where I wanted to punch a wall or throw a monitor. Like, you were. Marvel is not treating their workers well, or the people that they commission, not commission, the people that they outsource to work on the CGI. And it goes back to what I said, and is the way that they structured this franchise, the way they structured the MCU. They need to be producing things like every fucking day. If it's not Miss Marvel, it's She-Hulk. If it's not She-Hulk, it's Moon Knight, etc., etc., etc. And that's the problem. If Marvel can slow the fuck down, 
and actually give these shows the time of day that allows them to give the quality that fans expect them to have, then we wouldn't have these issues. Uh, animation uh, in the anime industry uh, has this sort of problem where fans are going like, oh, just give them a higher budget, give them more money, give them more money. That's going to solve your problem. Wrong. The biggest complaint that you'll probably hear from anyone working in animation is a fucking deadline. It's not about the money. It's about the amount of time they have to work on that project. Because if it's not enough time to make exactly what Marvel needs it to look like, and the due date's already there, there's nothing they can do about it. They have to crunch. They have to work insane hours every day of that week, of those months before a movie's release, to make sure that this movie looks as good as it possibly can be with the allotted time that they have. And it sucks because then you're a VFX artist and you're crunching and you're working and then let's say, you know, you are the few VFX artists, or not the few, but the VFX artists that work on Moon Knight. And, you know, it might not be the same sentiment for all of them, but imagine they can just be, there, there has to be people that just feel like this could have looked better if we had more time. We could have worked on these scenes better if we were given the proper amount of time to work on them. And that's just sort of the biggest problem. The way Marvel can fix that, spacing out their releases better. Making sure that they have, that each studio has enough time to work on big releases, Disney Plus shows, whatever that they need. Because if they don't, then it, the quality is going to suffer, fans are not going to be happy, and we're overall going to get a product that we don't want. But I understand, in the business aspect of things, it is hard to not try to profit off of the success of these shows and these movies and have something just spew out every three months, because that's what it is. Every two to three months, every three to four months, we get a new show, we have a new movie, and that's how they keep us entertainment, how they keep us in the loop. But personally for me, I'm a man of patience and I wouldn't mind waiting five months. I wouldn't mind waiting six months if it meant getting a product that was actually of quality so that this phase can remain consistent. But we'll just see what Marvel does moving forward into phase five. Since we are seeing the end of phase four, in November with Wakanda forever. Psych! The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. A single lap should be completed each time you hear this sound. Remember to run in a straight line and run as 